Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of your Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for Fear of the Walking Dead that's going to be doing our next character evolution video. This one is going to be talking about Ophelia from Fear of the Walking Dead. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> Okay guys, this is gonna be doing another video for today. This one's gonna be doing another video for Fear the Walking Dead. This one's gonna be doing another video for Fear the Walking Dead and the next character evolution. This one is for Ophelia, Daniel's daughter from Fear the Walking Dead. So uh, we are talking about a very, very classic character from the the OG Fear the Walking Dead uh, back from seasons one to three. She, of course, was introduced in season one, episode uh, two, and unfortunately killed off in season three, episode 14. So, um, man, let's talk about uh, this character. So Ophelia is a very um, just crazy character, you know, and honestly, a, a character that I feel like definitely could have survived longer and I feel like that's the one thing we should start with in this video I always thought that she was a character that could have survived longer and a character that could have evolved over time um but unfortunately, they never did that, which I will still, to this day, never understand. I, I do think she is the character that could have uh, evolved quite a bit. Um, so in season one, okay, season one, I'm going to be honest, she's not the biggest character. All her role really is, is kind of like that daughter of Daniel's, you know, she's, you know, kind of experiencing the fall of the world with everybody. Um, her mom dies, and she's got a boyfriend that turns out to be a complete psycho and shoots her later on because Travis lets him go. Um, but, you know, it, it's actually a, a decent start to a character, and the reason why I say that is because she starts off kind of innocent and then where she, you know where she goes I, I think it's actually a pretty cool start to see where it goes right um now season two she of course uh, is still dealing with the gunshot wound uh they do drag that out a little bit though but uh, she doesn't really do all that much in uh that first half of the season um She's just kind of a supporting daughter for Daniel as he's kind of losing his mind, right? But she thinks that Daniel has completely uh, died and burned down with uh, the, uh, you know, the building. Um, and then she kind of views it as she's on her own with Madison and them, right? So they go to the hotel and then basically she bails. Now, okay, here's one flaw with the character. Why on earth would she bail on them? Like, look, okay, your father is dead, but why would you bail on everybody? That just, that to me, does not make any sense. But we do get some flashbacks of her with her uh, fiance and this and that, um, which I thought to be, you know, pr pretty interesting. But I, I do think that it was kind of just to fill some stuff out because I don't really know how much that really served the plot in the end, I'm going to be honest. Uh, but uh, basically, she crosses the border and she meets... Um, the guy that we've all been kind of, uh, you know, waiting to see around this time, which is uh, Jeremiah. So he says, he's like, oh, welcome to America, right? Um, so season two for Ophelia, uh, it's all right. She's an all right character. I do think they develop her a little bit more in the back half, so that's good. But I do think that uh, they could have done a little bit more with her there, but she ain't bad. Nothing bad at all. I just think that, you know, it's, it's an all right, you know, kind of evolution for season two. Now, season three, obviously, is her biggest season yet. That is the season that she has the most green time where basically we find out that actually walker found her after jeremiah left her and she was taking in and now she's you know part of his group now um now, I can definitely say one thing right now. Um, even though people were pissed at Ophelia and even though people didn't like her, um, and the whole poisoning uh, Nick with anthrax thing, yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that. I don't know. I don't like how she did that. But here's the time I'll compliment Ophelia. And this is why I will say, um, is that Jeremiah left her. He left her for, for dead, dehydrated in the, in the desert, right? He, Walker did not have to do what he did. And he's a pretty evil man when he wants to be. But he saved her life and he actually like, you know, helped her out and let her join. So I can't exactly blame Ophelia because she barely knew our fear group. Like she barely even, you know, cared about any of them. Uh, she barely had any, you know, time with any of them. And honestly, you know, she was only there because her dad was there and they were kind of forced to escape the city together. So I hate to say it, Ophelia and Daniel from the get-go always were just kind of stuck with Travis and them uh, because the world was falling apart and they kind of had to go. So they just decided to stick together. But Ophelia never made that decision. And that is that that is true. Ophelia never made the decision on her own to stay with that group. Um, and then Walker saves her and Jeremiah doesn't. So Honestly, I don't like how what, you know, what she does to Nick. I think that is horrible. However, I will say one thing. Um, I can't be too mad at her because I do understand it. Plus, 
you gotta give the woman credit. She acted the part pretty freaking well. I will give her that. So I actually think in a weird, sick way, Ophelia is pretty impressive when it comes to that because she actually plays the part pretty freaking well. I'll give her that. Um, so basically you get the trade off. Jeremiah gets killed, all that stuff. And then they are living basically among, you know, everybody there. And you've got, um, you know, the community, uh, the ranch that is, uh, you know, kind of going, you got like the water problem and stuff like that. Um, Ophelia and Crazy Dog almost kind of feel like they're trying to slowly take over the community from like Nick and Alicia when Madison is gone. Um, and, uh, you know, when they're off to go get water, crap starts to kind of go down there. Um, but Ophelia around that time is, uh, is an interesting character. I'll definitely say that. And basically, in Brothers Keeper, she actually does pretty well. You know, she tries to defend the ranch along with Alicia and all them. Um, and basically, she decides to go try to take a look uh, as they're kind of underground. Um, you know, to see if there's a way out and this and that. And to see if they can kind of clear the, the air and this and that. And help everybody out that's like kind of dying underground. But unfortunately, this is the thing that we now know. Is that now, around that time, she gets bit. And it's kind of the sad thing of like, well, let's get you to Daniel, you know, while we still can. Um, and just at the last second, just at the last freaking second, uh, she dies like right before Daniel sees her. Um, still a sad scene. I'm going to say one thing right now that, you know, season three of Fear of the Walking Dead definitely has its ups and downs for me as a season. But in terms of that scene and it just Daniel narrowly getting there that broke my heart. I'm going to be honest. That that actually did. That was really freaking sad. So, um, okay. This character, Ophelia, I think she's she's a good character. I I do. I think she starts off as kind of the innocent, you know, kind of the, you know, uh, you know, the innocent daughter from Daniel that's like this badass, right? Um and then in season 2, she kind of loses her father, loses her father. Um kind of doesn't know what the role is within the group. I don't like how she bails on them though. That's the one flaw with the character. But she, you know, we find out that she had a life before all this, all this kind of stuff. Her family's gone. And she gets ditched by Jeremiah, saved by Walker. So, of course, she's going to be kind of, you know, loyal to him. But then it's kind of like, oh, but she still cares about Nick. And you can almost see those little cracks there, too. It, it's it's definitely very interesting. And basically, she dies a hero trying to, you know, kind of help everybody out underground. So, um, and through all of that, she doesn't even get to see Daniel again. So, Honestly, um, I think she had a pretty freaking good journey. Honestly, she ain't a perfect character, but I think the character does get a little bit too much hate. And I think the character is actually pretty good and pretty freaking good when she needs to be. So um, that is my thoughts. I think the actress for Ophelia did a great job as well, too. Uh, I actually do miss having Ophelia in the series. I think she would have had a pretty interesting arc if she was still around right now. Uh, and that's actually my question for you guys in this video. How do you feel like her character would be now? Like in the radiation storyline in season seven, of fear um how do you think she would have blended in with all this i'm actually curious to hear what you guys think about that so anyway guys thank you guys for watching the video write your comments in the comment section below if you guys are new here click to subscribe and check out some of my videos for fear of the walking dead follow dance walk your views so come guys and of course i'll see you guys really soon for another video for fear of the walking dead enjoy the rest of your day guys and peace out